What's good guys, it's Decor105 here playing Tom Clancy's The Division Beta. Um, this is pretty much how it starts. As of right now, you just get to randomize a character. Um, obviously, when the full game comes out, you're going to get to do everything. You have hair markings and accessories up at the top. So. Um, honestly, it's been a while since I've played a Tom Clancy's game. I think this will be my second time playing one. But I can't really remember. I know I was at a friend's house before, I think the first time when I played one. I think I'll go with this dude right here. Yes. Alright. Um, at one point, I did not think I was gonna get a beta code for uh, for this. Hey, just hold on. Come on back. I need you. Let's establish ourselves a base of operation. You'll find him just inside the gate. Can I get a stretch at the end of the dock? So, um, I, a little bit about the beta that I know of is that there is some missions, and I believe there is some side missions, but I think a good majority amount of it is, um, in the dark zone where the dark zone is PvP and the dark zone is supposed to have like the best weapons but what I want to do before I try any of that is uh, do all is do all the missions so that's gonna be my main priority you know I get why we gotta wear this shit but honestly it's like you're good to go okay I gotta I tell you, I don't remember you going back into that mess. Oh, I'm getting out from here. Vendor gear, a situation board. All oh, the situation boards right there. There's the vendor right there. What is that? Oh, so I kind of wonder if, so are those other people then? That has, that has, that has to be other people. Alright, well, 
let's let's continue then. I mean, just f from a little bit of what I've seen and heard about uh, the division, um, it looks like it's going to be a very fun, awesome game. It's it is multiplayer. I'm going to assume it's going to have a lot of missions that you can do in co-op. So this would be definitely another game that I could have a game day with my subscribers if anybody wants to do that. You now have available skills. Expand your toolkit with a new tactical option. Alright, what do we got here? Hmm, I like that one. Do I have to put it here? So I haven't learned how to run. So give me some time. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that's how you run. You gotta click the left stick. All right. Yeah, I know this is going to sound very, very vague, but I believe the last. Tom Clancy's game that I played was, I believe, back in. Oops. Oh, that was slow. Come on, man. Uh, I can't remember what the last Tom Clancy's game that I played, but I think it was back in like 06. I believe that was I believe that was the first time I ever played a Tom Clancy's game, but I can't remember what it was. No, wait. I believe it was Las Vegas something. I can't really remember. Civilian in need. I really appreciate the help. You owe me a med kit. Oh, okay. Do you have new item of clothing in your inventory? Press options, open your inventory, and go to the appearance tab to change your clothing. Oh, inventory. Three. Oh, okay, I see it. Give me a nice little jacket there. Alright, let's get moving. I've already taken up a lot of time. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Whoa, what, what the hell? What the hell? 
So I'm not really sure if this game has hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, I, I I don't really know if any of the Tom Clancy's game have hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I feel like uh, I feel like a game like this should have some um hand-to-hand -hand combat as well. But I could be wrong. A lot of stuff is just popping up and I have no idea what it is. I do love third person shooters, so this so this definitely got my attention. I just don't know much about Tom Clancy games. We got some more coming. Get down! Ah! Yeah, see, I don't want to only use my sidearm right now. Oh, man, I thought you were getting ready to shoot me. So do I want to? Okay, so it wants me to go this way. I don't know what that... I'm, a, I'm actually really curious to see what that little green triangle is, but I think it said something about virus research, but... I kind of wonder if I can go back to that later. Is there anything of any... Oh, okay, I guess you can just walk over it and just automatically pick it up. Alright. Okay, so that's how you switch. Dispatch, this is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Oh, oh, screw it, we'll take anything you can give us. How are you on my cause? We've got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. Unit 43, be advised, you have incoming division agents as backup to your location. It's about damn time you get us some help. Get them here right now. Foster, we need support on the stairs. Martinez, move up on the flank. Go, go, go. You know, there's just so much in an open world game that you want to explore. You want to, you kind of want to know what everything is. So, and that's just what I am. I, I, I like exploring before I actually get into the game to just to try to figure out what everything is. Oh, oh, oh what? Okay. Oh, God damn it. Oh, 
He's down. Alright, let's get this bitch right here. I gotta hold it, okay. Whip your looted item. Also, the fight still goes on, so I have to do it after. Okay, so I have to just dial the check afterwards. Let's switch to my. Let's switch to this one real quick. Oh man. Where? The, what the hell? Oh, okay, that's my. Dispatch, the situation outside is now under control. My official report: the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. Okay, so let me check my inventory real quick and see what I got. I don't know, they just said I looted special items, so I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors. There's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander, Benitez, is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing, and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more stable this base is, the better shape the city will be in. So no crafting is available in the beta. And this game just looks like it's going to be tons of fun once it drops. We need you. Request situation report. Um I want to see if I can do all that later. The medical wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. For civilians, but for us as well. A mods vendor, a weapons vendor. Security wing needs some love, and Captain Benitez. The JTF loved the guy. He can mobilize them and help us get the intel and firepower we need to get all these hostiles off the streets. So the security wing is not available in the beta. 
so I'm guessing doing that mission is is definitely off the table. This is an emergency services notification. The scheduled distribution of additional blankets and bedding at 1100 hours has been cancelled due to lack of materials. We apologize for the inconvenience. The tech wing has obviously seen better days. But if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. Also not available in the beta. So, the only thing we're going to be doing is the medical one, I presume? Missing agents, none found. So obviously there is probably a lot of stuff we are also limited to in the beta as well. Phone recordings, none. So we have ourselves a little, a little nice, nice little base of operations. Hey, bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people, this is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. All right. So, off to the Madison Field Hospital. Oh, restock. Yes, I know you guys keep telling me to yes. deploy my ballistic shield. I mean, so far it's been so good. I think this game really is going to be a hell of a lot of fun once it drops. Open world, exploring, can't get any better than that. Well, it probably could. Madison Field Hospital. Alright, guys. So, um, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the beta gameplay. Um, if I do a second video, I will do this Madison Field mission.